Hello and welcome to this very brief walkthrough of our new DJ Looper device that's part of our new DJ collection and is also available as a free upgrade to all of our modular series customers. Now the original Looper uh, built using Max for Live sat on an audio track and you had a couple of ways of controlling it. You could set a loop size and map some buttons so it would auto loop. Uh, you also had a loop dial so you could set a minimum and a maximum size, dial in the size of loop you want and turn the loop on and off. All of this worked really, really well. Um, however, when you started going down to a beat as the lowest loop size and try and manipulate things with regards to moving it backwards and forwards, you'd find that the beat no longer was a beat and suddenly you had a loop of two beats for example and we got it working as smoothly as we could with the the current way of working but it always rankled a bit to us that to do the looping we had to actually change the loop brace that was on a clip so if you'd spent ages setting up your your clips and and putting loops in place at the end or or halfway through a particular clip you suddenly wanted to go on the fly you'd loop and then turn loop off and your original loop had then therefore vanished unfortunately. So working with Live 9.2 for the last couple of months we've now developed our DJ Looper. Now when you download the pack um, it offers you the option to install it as a live pack. It gives you a warning that this is a legacy pack. Uh, that's the only way that we as third-party developers can get uh, devices like this and uh, effects etc into your live library so that it can be browsed with say the push in the packs section you'll find the isotonic dj looper and within the presets audio effects max audio effect imported we've got our brand new device and the archive version as well if you double click on the dj looper als file that'll open this sample set minus the clip that we've got playing here Let's just bring that in. Now I've actually got this uh, so that I'm going to click on it with the mouse, but all of the controls within the DJ Looper are MIDI mappable. The first set of controls here is the global quantization. Now when the device opens, it will quite simply just follow and grab whatever your global clip launch quantization is, leave it alone. Uh, what we do is we affect the global quantization momentarily to set the loop and then revert it back to whatever the setting is here. You have a control here, which can be mapped to a dial, which sets the loop length. And then the loop on and off button is quite simply here. Now if we go and have a look at the clip itself, I'll show you what it's doing. Uh, let's just follow. There we go. So as you can see, there's no loop race involved. Uh, that's actually still sitting at 1111 and is off. Uh, and it's perfectly looping around a beat. Now if I go back to the device itself, I can manipulate that by halving it. carving it again and now uniquely because the lowest beat uh, lowest loop that you could set previously with Max for Live was one beat down to an eighth down to a sixteenth down to a thirty second stick a nice uh, filter on that and you're laughing doubling up works as, as it states but you can also click and these buttons here they're individually MIDI mappable so if you want to set up a uh, say a innovation dicer to your favorite five you can do that quite easily you can set the quantization at the start uh, to the nearest beat or the nearest bar and once you set a loop you can also move it pretty simple very effective, really low on CPU. Just drop one of these into each of the audio or MIDI tracks that you want to use it on. That's it. 
More coming soon. Thanks for watching.